all right people welcome back to the channel now in today's video i would want you to go meet my friend his name is missing field dot ignore although the name isn't very catchy but the deeds are quite catchy now this particular uh, power query function not really a function it's just an input an optional input that you can provide to your queries and that will avoid your queries breaking pretty good let's actually check out missing field dot ignore all right I'm an Excel Power Query and that's where I have loaded some ridiculously simple data and I'm just going to do a few operations that is going to break my query and we'll take a look at how my dear friend missingfield.ignore can actually rescue us in that particular journey. So take a look. Uh, some source data, ridiculously simple four columns A, B, C and D. That's what we have and what I do is I add a custom column in this data. So take a look at this custom column. All that I have done is just added like two numbers one plus one and that's the custom column so we get two across all the rows of this particular column then what I do is I remove this particular column and that step gets generated which is remove column the column that we just deleted was custom now let's just say for some instance if I happen to delete this particular step just delete it now because in the next step we are removing the custom column that we just created in the previous step the query obviously is going to break now what can we do we can actually come to this particular uh, table dot remove columns uh, function which is right here in the formula bar and as the last part of this particular function we can write something like missing field dot ignore let's just write that missing field dot ignore i can do that and now if i commit to this particular formula the query isn't going to break isn't that awesome? Let's check out the next one. All right. I'm sure you would often rename your columns in Power Query. That's a very commonly done operation in Power Query. And let's just see that in case something bad happens to your renaming step, the query often can break and how our dear friend missing field dot ignore can actually help us. Take a look again. Same ridiculously simple nonsensical four column data A, B, C and D. And of the four columns that we have, I happen to rename the first two columns, which is column one. Column A is renamed as column one and column B is renamed as column two. And hence we have the new names. Pretty cool. Now, if I go back to the source step and of the two columns that were renamed A and B, I happen to delete one of the columns. Just delete that particular column. I insert a step in between. And now if I move over to the next step, you're going to see that my query has broken because it was trying to rename the column B to column number two, but that particular column hasn't been found in the data. So it just tanked the query and threw us the error. Well, what are we going to do? We are actually going to take help from our friend missing field dot ignore. So again, in this particular function, put a comma and just write the missing field as a nullable number. That's where you're going to write missing field dot ignore period. We write that uh, commit to this particular function and bam, the query works absolutely fine. Let's check out the third one now. All right, reordering of the columns is another very commonly done operation in Power Query, although it doesn't really matter how your columns are in the data model, but sometimes people tend to reorder the columns in the order they'd like to see. Again, ridiculously simple four columns that I have, A, B, and C, and D, and I then change the order of the columns in the reverse order, so D, C, B, and A, that's what I did. Now, in between, if I just go back to my source step and happen to delete the columns, maybe one or two columns. So if I just happen to delete column B, insert a step in between. Now, when the reordering step is done, you're going to see that because column B wasn't found and that column B was part of the order that you mentioned right here, the query actually breaks. No problem. We're going to take help again from our friend missing field dot ignore. So I'm just going to come to the end part of this particular function, put a comma and just write again, missing field dot. What is that? Sorry, missing, missing field dot ignore. I just uh, commit to that, press enter and the query works once again. All right. That was all about it. Now, the interesting thing is that I found this particular optional input, which I call it my friend, which is missing field dot ignore. Uh, I think about two years ago and since then I have been using this particular optional input a lot to help my queries not break when anything goes missing in the query. And so far I have been able to find that this particular missing field dot ignore input is applicable in a few places. So I've actually shown you that it is applicable in removing columns, renaming columns and reordering columns. I'm not sure that if it's applicable in more functions or not, I still have to test that out. But in case you do find that, please mention that particular function in the comments and everybody would benefit from that.
Now, let me know in case you'd like to be friends with missingField.ignore. I'm sure he's going to, you know, maybe help you not break the queries that often. Thanks so much for watching this. In the end, I'd like to give a big shout out about my DAX and my Power Query courses. In case you're starting out with your journey with Power BI and DAX and Power Query seem very hard and you'd like to master these concepts right from scratch, learn the fundamentals first and then proceed on to solving more challenging, more dense problems of your own data, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for sticking around and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.